Or is this, is this full-time MMA now? Uh, I love full-time MMA right now. Full-time MMA? MMA? Nothing yeah. else? My life, man, yeah. Back to the Daily Grind and shout out to the full-time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Details concerning Conor McGregor's plea deal have leaked to the public. Last week, Conor McGregor went to court for his UFC 223 melee where he grabbed a dolly, went absolutely ape shit. maybe all jacked up off Mountain Dew for all we know, threw the dolly at the bus, broke a window, got three fights canceled and all of that madness. Conor McGregor was then arrested after that and now he looks like he's going to be negotiating a plea deal and details have leaked of that deal to, for Conor McGregor to try and avoid jail time. Now it's really, um, uh, it would be a good idea for Conor McGregor to do whatever he can as far as negotiating this plea deal to avoid jail time for one because Conor McGregor doesn't want to go to jail but for two because if Conor McGregor's in jail he can't fight and he can't work you know he can't fight in the UFC or fight Floyd Mayweather or keep his endorsements going Conor McGregor you know he's, he's a athlete at this point and he's a superstar but at the same time he could always come crashing down if he kept up in the way he was going leading up to the bus attack. So you would like to hope Conor McGregor is actually, you know, recognizing the seriousness of this issue. That's why he's going along with this plea deal and he's not just doing it just because, right? Just, oh, all right, you know, because Conor McGregor going into this, he's looked at it, you know, and, and, and this might even just be because the moment went viral. I like to apologize to absolutely nobody. Conor McGregor doesn't seem very apologetic a lot of the times, but at the same time, we have seen times where Conor McGregor seemed truly apologetic. Like whenever during the Floyd Mayweather fight, people started accusing Conor McGregor of being racist because he said the word monkeys. He was like, yo, that's not what the fuck was happening. But if any of you guys were actually offended, I mean, I, I truly am sorry. So we have seen Conor McGregor um, apologetic in the past, but at the same time, it's hard to know how sincere he is in this instance because he there and, and i'm sure he is knowing the aftermath knowing f actual other fighters were injured knowing that rose nama Yunus was shaking up i'm sure conor mcgregor maybe came down and was like yo i, I fucked up last night <laughs> he probably watched the embedded back like that was me like what <laughs> you know what I was, you know one of those moments like where, where you're kind of embarrassed after the fact, like, oh, I probably shouldn't have did that. Hopefully that's how Connor's feeling. I mean, he did make a statement when he was leaving his court proceeding. It was a very quick court proceeding in and out, just starting the negotiation of the plea deal, I bet. And he did say that he apologized for his actions and recognized the seriousness and stuff like that. Um, but there's still some people that believe Conor McGregor might just be doing a little bit of lip service out here. You know, he's probably still going to be wiling out. You know, it, it, some people have speculated Conor McGregor could be having a, a little bit of a drug problem. You know, he is rich. He went from fucking essentially being on welfare and eating blueberries eight years ago or something like that. I don't know the exact time frame to now being the richest UFC fighter. He's made the most money of all UFC fighters of all time in this short time span. So when you go from being absolutely broke to fucking just being rich beyond your wildest dreams, you couldn't imagine having that much money. Yeah, you might have a little adjusting period where you're still acting a little bit ape shit. You know what I'm saying? Like who you might have used to be when you didn't have anything to lose. But now Conor McGregor has a lot to lose, not even just monetary. He's got a family now. He's got Conor Jr., his wife, and stuff like that. So Conor McGregor's got a lot to live for at this point and a lot to lose. So he's going to have to be careful how he continues as this mega star. And we see now he was almost facing jail time here. Hopefully he can get this plea deal worked out and, and it'll be uh, smooth selling from here and he can just go on and continue his career to potentially and build his legacy as the one of the greatest fighters of all time but with that being said here are the details of that plea deal that have leaked and it's just a little bit of the details but it looks like um as reported by the irish mirror conor mcgregor is now in negotiations with the new york police athletic league in an attempt to aid in his plea deal to avoid seeing jail time the league provides sporting activities and more to kids from disadvantaged backgrounds. So it looks like Conor McGregor might have to do a little bit of charity or community service in New York with some disenfranchised youth. That'd be pretty cool, you know? Fucking Big Brothers, Big Sisters Club or something, some little broke ass nigga. Oh shit, I'm 
But Conor McGregor, you know, you know, you could imagine that would be a, a super cool thing. Conor McGregor doing community service with with the kids and stuff, and it's gonna have to happen in Brooklyn, which is where the madness happened. And I'm sure that's not gonna be all. I'm sure he's also gonna have a pretty hefty fine for these actions, especially if he's avoiding jail time. You know how that's usually how it goes. If you're trying to avoid jail time, you are at least gonna be paying a fine and doing some community service. Now, um, with Conor McGregor, he's got a lot of money, so a fine you might feel like is a little bit of a slap on the wrist. And even the community service, I mean, I'm sure he's gonna put in some of the time, but um, that, that, you know, hopefully that this is enough, the community service and the fine. I'm just saying, hopefully this is enough to get Conor McGregor to actually um, recognize the seriousness of his actions and, and stuff like that before anything worse were to happen. You know, he's he's trying to avoid the jail time this time, um, and but next time, who knows? It could be worse. This time, literally, Glass just got... It, it seemed in, in the moment, and it still is, it's fucked up what he did. He broke the glass, he injured some fighters, and but now, looking back at it, it could have been a lot worse. There were no, like, weapons involved aside from the dolly. There wasn't, like, a brawl that took place. And even the fighters that were injured were s s relatively minor injuries when hindsight's 2020. But it was very serious at the time. You had Ray Borg, his cornea was scratched. We didn't know it, it wasn't that serious until he was kind of rebooked shortly after. But your cornea being scratched, that's threatening somebody's eyesight. What if fucking Ray Borg was blind from then on out, lost his career and stuff like that? Then I'm sure he would... I, and I think he already is Ray Borg and Michael Kia, so I would assume they're suing Conor McGregor already just for injuring them and getting their fights canceled, loss of wages and stuff like that. But imagine if Ray Borg would have actually lost his fucking eyesight or something like that. That would have been fucking horrible on top of just all the other innocent people that were on the bus and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is a pretty serious um, case here for sure. So hopefully Conor McGregor gets right in, instead of uh, just looks at this as a slap on the wrist like oh well i was in the right you know i hope he doesn't have too many yes men around him no connor man fuck that you did the right thing man you, khabib's lucky that dolly didn't hit him you know nobody's regarding the other people michael chiesa ray borg rose nama Yunus, everybody just disregarding them no it's okay connor you know because it, it, when you see stuff like that when you see people especially people that have a lot of money that didn't used to when they're surrounded by yes men that can be a little bit of an issue but hey at the same time conor mcgregor i'm sure has some smart people around him and a good team so we'll see what happens but looks like he's going to be doing a little bit of community service and maybe paying a little bit of a fine in this plea deal to avoid seeing some jail time and before we go, shout out to all the full-time MMA white belts that have hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to become a full-time MMA blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, or black belt, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash full-time MMA. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.